hi guys welcome welcome back to nine crafts <laughs> how you can make your very own DIY pop it and just before we get into this video I just want to say sorry if you hear background noise aka a fan um so yeah I have my flam going because I have something drying which you guys if you guys want to know what that is aka I'll just say it's a fidget if you guys want to know what that fidget is make sure to follow me on my tiktok so yeah and while we're on the topic about tiktok I guess I quickly just want to say make sure seriously go follow me there because you guys can choose the video. This video is actually chosen from TikTok. So make sure you go follow me there. Um so yeah, I posted that video about two weeks ago though. Um I just see I just wanted to see if you guys wanted a paper squishy video or a pop it video and once you guys request a paper squishy video and that is already out that is the um 3d paper squishy cereal so make sure to check that out the link will be down below in the description box and then a few of you wanted a pop it either way i would want to do both i just want to see which one you guys wanted first um which one you guys wanted more so i can do that one first so yeah anyways for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pizza pop it So there's two types of pop it. There is the mini pop it, which I have this mini peach pop it here, which has a cute little keychain. And there's the normal size pop it, which I have this square one. So yeah, we're going to be making a normal size pop it. So yeah, um, I'm going to be doing a little bit um, more simple pop it that's a normal size, um, because I know some of you guys might be beginners to this and this is like a lot of poppets so yeah anyways let me go ahead and get right into the video first up you're going to be needing some cardboard i just have this long strip of cardboard you can find this from i don't know a chip box that's where i got lines from um if you order something off of amazon or your parents siblings whoever you can just hey say hey can i please borrow this box um by the way you can also use thin cardboard i um, so yeah, it does indeed have to be cardboard though, so like you can have a bit of a sturdy base. Next up, if you're making a poppet that I am going to be making, which is a pizza poppet, um, you're going to be needing a ruler just so you can get kind of like some straight lines. And if you don't have that, then that's totally fine. Next up, you'll be needing these three colors. Um, you can grab this in markers or color paper. I'm just going to be using colored paper. So you're going to be needing brown for the crust. This for like the pepperonis, I guess. And then this, um, I do not have like no, I don't know, cooked cheese type color. So we're just going to be using yellow. Anyway, set that to the side. Um, and if you guys don't have that, then you can always just use white paper like I have here. And then just take um, like the same exact colors that I have. Oops, not this which is brown, red, and yellow. So, yeah. And you can also use that to color. This is not going back in there. Okay. Anyways, so, yeah. By the way, you will also be needing some scissors. So, yeah. Um, I quickly just want to say, make sure you are reading the text up on the screen because they are very important. Those are instructions. Here go the ones that you should really read up. They should look something like this. And then um, if you see something like this pop up on the screen, those are just like tips that I have on like why you're making it. So yeah, like I don't really know. Just if you see this up on the screen, then that's just showing you guys a tip. You don't really have to use it if you don't want. But um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into the time lapse. Let's do it.
Okay guys, so I'm all done with my puppet. Honestly, I think it turned out really good. It has a total of six puppets on it. And here go the back side. Tag me if you made this. I would love to see how yours turned out. I kind of do want to make these edges just a little bit more curved. But honestly, I think I did really good. And I finished this puppet in around like 27 to 30 minutes, which is a really good time. So yeah, I did not pop this yet. I only popped this one just to make sure that um, I did not have glue up wrong. Um, so yeah, make sure you do read the tips as well. Um, they were actually really helpful um, in my opinion. So yeah, anyways, here go the pops. Whoa, guys, this pops amazing. And now for the back side. guys i love this puppet so much it sounds absolutely amazing and it looks even cuter like wow um the back side i really love the back side because it's plain i don't know why but like plain pepperoni pizza is really cute for some reason i feel like if i had like a cute kawaii face right here or something it would be like really cute so yeah once again tag me if you make this it's a really good puppet um I 100% recommend making a pizza poppet, especially if you are a beginner. It's super easy. I recommend using all the tips that I use because it will make your life so much easier while making this. Um, so yeah, expect another video from me coming very soon. It should be fun. Um, but yeah, that was all I have you guys today. But until next time, peace out.